pregnant and diagnosed with breast cancer. I could have lost my daughter at any time. Amber shares her story in hopes of helping other women while she participates in groundbreaking research at Carmanis Cancer Institute. This is pioneering technology called SoftView, over a decade in the making and on the cusp of FDA approval. We're talking about providing much better health care and breast care for the entire population of women. And what's so pioneering about SoftView is that it doesn't involve the discomfort of compression or radiation like a mammogram. And the co-inventors are conducting their world-renowned research right here in Detroit at Carmanis Cancer Institute. Imagine your next mammogram experience looking more like this. I need you to do exactly what you're doing, be quiet and still like you are. That's the rather unlikely outcome when you pair a rocket scientist with a prostate cancer researcher. You feel at ease. You feel better about yourself. You're not, you know, you're not uncomfortable. Having engineering and physics and physicians listen to one another, it's created a, a, a real opportunity that isn't seen very often around the world even. With over a decade of research so far, it's an opportunity co-invented by doctors Peter Littrup and Ned Durek at Carmanis Cancer Institute. In the clinical trial stages, SoftView is a revolutionary machine that uses sound and water to create 3D ultrasound images of the whole breast. This would be a complete paradigm shift in what we're normally looking at uh, with breast imaging. Research thanks in small part to a woman. Uh, my wife came home after her first mammogram and said, you know, if you're inventing stuff, you, you got to do something about this process here. With SoftView, the patient lies down on a table over a round opening, much like an ice fishing hole. With a camera in the bottom, it fills with water, where one at a time, the patient's breast is scanned. Shoot sound in a ring all the way around the breast, and then be able to use all these signals to create a much clearer image. Information that we get from how that sound interacts with the breast tissue tells us what's inside the breast. Because we can't show you the picture of an actual woman's breast, here's some perspective on how clear the actual images can be. This process now is much more like a CAT scan or an MR where you can pretty much put the woman on and get the same images pretty much every time. Only much faster and at a fraction of the cost of a breast MRI with images beyond that of a mammogram. I put it to the test myself. To scan both breasts took less than five minutes. It's quick. Very relaxing, no squeezing or discomfort. And one of the things that I like is the privacy. You never feel the awkwardness of being fully exposed. And the images are done for the radiologist to review in 15 minutes while the patient is still in the room. Are you comfortable? Lisa has been a research nurse coordinator for the clinical trial for seven years. This technology, I'm just blessed to be a part of it. The, this is pioneering technology. Amber, a mother of three, is one of the study participants. It was great. When I uh, got the phone call, I was really excited. This after being diagnosed with breast cancer while pregnant with her daughter last spring. She has a healthy five-month-old today and quite a story to tell her. I've had two ultrasounds, two mammograms, a mastectomy, I've done chemo, and now I'm going through radiation all during the nine months of pregnancy. What Amber likes most about SoftView, no radiation. When you deal with radiation, you deal with a lot. It affects your skin, it affects your bones, it makes you feel comfortable that they're doing a test and it's, it's not harmful to your body. It is water and it is sound. And that's why we think it's a good, potentially a good option uh, in the future because with mammography, it doesn't work that way at all. It's important to remember, mammograms are still the gold standard for breast cancer screening and detection. Soft view clinical trials are ongoing. We're hoping that this could be going from high-risk women screening to general screening just like mammography. Right now, SoftView is in the first stage of FDA approval. We're hoping that by the end of 2015, that screening will be a, you know, on the way to a reality, at least for high-risk women. 
Softview is just one example of the research taking place at Carmanis Cancer Institute. One of the big events that helps fund that research is the Carmanis 31st Annual Dinner. Mark your calendar. It's going to be held on April 20th. General Motors is a major sponsor of that event. And if you'd like more information, you can head to the health page of our website at clickondetroit.com.